is our beautiful sun. So how do you think radio waves travel all the way across the planet? So I'm going to tell you, sometimes they're line of sight, like this antennae over here. They just go within the line of sight. But most radio waves at a certain frequency that we call the critical frequency, they bounce off of the ionosphere. So I'm going to tell you what the ionosphere is, okay? It's the perfect word, ions in a sphere. So I'm breathing out CO2, but when I breathe in, I breathe in oxygen, nitrogen, and argon. But let's just say mainly oxygen and nitrogen. I breathe in oxygen, I breathe in nitrogen, that's what's in the atmosphere. When the sun's rays, the ultraviolet rays, hit the oxygen and the nitrogen atoms, they pull off the electrons on the outer shell. Those electrons are what makes up the ionosphere because they're ions. So most people think the whole ionosphere is plasma. Only about 1% of the ionosphere is plasma and it's a diffused plasma, otherwise it would look like we're inside a star. So if you think up there, the ionosphere is all of these electrons and all of these atoms with the less electrons in a sphere. And when a certain frequency hits the ionosphere, it bounces back down. So when we use radio waves that propagate from say a walkie talkie or a radio, they can actually bounce back down to earth. So we use the ionosphere as like a refracting type of mirror. It's not exactly a mirror, but they bounce back down. It's so cool, right?